Hey guys, this is Danks87. Going to be showing you how to change the different animations that your Sackbot does walking, jumping, things like that. It's very, very simple. All you need is two different things, and uh, the results are quite good. If you do not know how to make the camera follow a Sackbot, the tutorial is up on your screen right now. Just click the icon. So, what you're going to need is a state sensor and a character animation tweaker. It's as simple as that. Okay, so open up the circuit board on your Sackbot, put a microchip in, add your state sensor, and pull this down so that it's near the Sackbot, otherwise the animator won't work. Pop down an animator, Okay, now open up the options in the state sensor. We're going to choose running. So any time that the sackbot is seen running, it will play whichever animation we have attached it to. So we're going to choose an animation. You have lots to choose from. You can change from Zombot or whatever. I find that there's a lot of good ones. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's sackbot miscellaneous. And in here, after all the emotes are pretty good ones to play with. Bit of swagger, why not? So he's gonna swagger to walk. And that is it. Now when you go in and you run, he swaggers. It can be applied to anything from jumping to falling, swimming, climbing. So we're gonna show you a jump. So we change that to jumping. We change the animation to something fairly good that we like. There we go, a bit of a flip. And an hour when we jump, we do that flip. It's a backwards flip. If you wanted it to turn the other way, so you do a forwards flip, you can go into the animation settings and the animation speed turn to minus 100%, which reverses the speed. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep tuned for more.